Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Um, so, one of my more recent videos, I gave a uh, unboxing, review, and uh, tutorial on this Red Dragon wired slash wireless mouse. Go ahead and check that one out. Links will be, I think, right over here. And um, then uh, let's go ahead and jump into the thing at the end of the video that we talked about. We're going to be talking, we're going to be unboxing the Red Dragon Vata, Vata, Veda. I don't know. Um, this is the cheapest mechanical keyboard on the market with the features that it has. So it has uh, programmable um, buttons as well as um, a audio roller here and some other media playback buttons here as well as RGB. And then the one thing that I was actually super interested in um, for it is the one thing that I was super interested in for this thing is the mechanical keyboard switches. So these aren't Red Cherry, like the very best of the best that everyone loves, Red Cherry. But these are still mechanical switches. And from some research, it turns out they're not all that different. Like granted, extreme gamers will definitely know the difference. However, average Joe like myself who does gaming for funsies sometimes, I don't know. I think this is going to be a big upgrade from my uh, Logitech K120 that, uh, I don't know if you can see that, the whole thing flexes, it's cheap, it's plastic, it's, yeah, it's not the best. So hopefully this will uh, not only make me a better gamer, but also um, make the experience more pleasing. This is made with the blue keyboard switches. Um, which are uh, just a different uh, length of like how much you have to push it versus the red. The reds are like really short, uh, but these are the blues. Hopefully it's good. Let's let's start the unboxing. So yeah, like I said, we got the front, we got the back, talking about features, things like that, showing you all the details, as well as sides sides uh, it just shows you right here you have um, this will give you the dimensions and specs of this guy as well for starters this is not as fancy a packaging as my mouse the mouse came in like this really fancy like almost a pencil box style case which uh, made me feel guilty to like throw it away you know so it's still sitting over on the shelf uh, because I feel bad just the idea of throwing it away. Um, let's see, make sure it's gonna, yep, this is gonna be one that's gonna slide out the end here. Wrapped in bubble wrap. This is substantial. All right. Got some tools too, look at that. We got our, um, I think that's a key puller, and then this is gonna be a switch puller here. So we have our um, key, our switch puller here. This'll pull out the keyboard switches. And then right here we have the, uh, the puller for their plastic keys. So those are tools that already comes with it. They know that you might wanna upgrade it or fix it one day. Does it come with extra keys? Mechanical switch replacements. Look at that. That's fancy. Ooh, look at that. We got a variety. You get two reds, some blues, some browns, and blacks. Um, I'll play with those later or maybe in another video. By the way, links to all of this, uh, all my stuff that I have here, will be in the description below. Wow, this is hefty. This is like a weighty keyboard. Buddy, like going from my Logitech little it's a, look at here, Logitech, like there's nothing to it to this guy. This guy is substantially more substantial, and it's got some clickiness to it. Um, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is the keys on this. Um, the lettering is its own font, which is a little interesting. Um, you see that? That's interesting. It's got its own font style to it. Um, 
very clicky. Okay, well, we'll see how I, how I feel about the clickiness of this, you know, after some time, but let's go ahead and get started with this. Why waste any more time? Plug her in, plug it in, plug it in. Um, it does have little feet to kick up to, to give you an angle and man. There's a ring. Hear that? I don't know how I feel about that. I am not sure how I feel about this. Let's let's give it a test, you know, a little bit of uh, the QA Brown Yeah. Jumped over the lazy dog. Oof, I don't like that. The ringing. I'm sure I could get used to it over time, but. Can you hear that? Not to be nitpicky, but. Why is it ringing? That's obnoxious. Let's 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 pull this guy apart and see if we can figure out why it does that. Let's start with our control button here. We're doing a live surgery. Really? I don't, I don't understand how these are. There we go. And grab our switch puller. Huh. I've never pulled a switch before. There we go, top and bottom side, there's a lip. Eat. Gonna break this thing? Possibly. Pull out some of these switches and see what they do. Whoop. Came right out. It's not even the buttons that's doing that. That's the frame. So it looks like there's a button down on the bottom side. The whole thing rocks up, maybe? Hey! There we go. Good grief. So on, here's the switch and the orientation. And on the bottom side here, there's a button there that you gotta push in with this. That will then release it. And then you'll rock it forward to be able to uh, do it. Let's throw a red switch, which I know, red switch on your control button, what? Too bad they didn't give us four of them, because I would do WASD for my reds, but you know, whatever. I, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just guessing and learning as I go. There we go, it's in. Oh, interesting. Got her. Nope, still got back. I don't know, man, like, I'm still not sure what it's all about, but there it is. Um, there are some presets on this guy for your RGB settings. Let's go ahead and jump into our manual here. So if I push the FN and insert, it goes to a gradient. All right, so I'm gonna cut that part short of going through all of the 
RGB settings and things like that. Um, it is very cool. There are tons of options. We can dig into that more. Um, but this is just gonna be my initial unboxing and um, first impression of it. I don't like the ringing. I, the RGBs are kinda cool. Um, go to that video that will be coming out later that I'm gonna go through this whole manual. Uh, granted, it's only like three pages in English and then you have every other language that I have ever seen in here. So, you know, you'll be set with whatever language you get this in, whatever country you're in. Um, this Red Dragon uh, keyboard should be great. I'm gonna go ahead and test this out for a few weeks. This video is gonna be the first one of a series. Um, I'm gonna do this video that it will be um, just the unboxing and first impressions, um, working with it. Um, our next video will be going through the manual, figuring out how everything works, making sure we get uh, downloading a driver from the website to be able to control it from our computer rather than having to use the test commands out of here. And then um, also in a couple of weeks, I'll do a quick video just giving a final review of how what I think of it, whether I plan on keeping it or returning it. If you have questions, suggestions, comments, leave those down in the, the comments below. In the description of this video will be a link to this guy on Amazon. Um, I think when I got it, it was like $65. I think I saw it go on sale recently for 62. Uh, let's double check that. Yep. Uh, just double check 62.99. It's on sale right now. Uh, I don't know how long it'll be on sale for, but it's worth going to check it out. Um, for the things it comes with, I think I might um, do something about that ringing. I don't know if you can hear that through the camera, but there is kind of like a bell. It, yes, it's a metal frame. It's a solid keyboard. Like this thing is awesome, but I don't like that noise. I'm going to go ahead and, um, give it a test, give it a couple weeks, see if I get over the sound. If I end up I think I might find some way to add sound dampening to it. Um, and then if you have any questions, you want links to this mouse, this desktop, my monitor, my whole setup here, links will be in the description below, as well as if you have any questions, leave comments. I am very responsive. I try to get to every comment and leave a reply, not just a little heart for everyone, unless you're like, cool, thanks bro. If that's all you leave, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.